Hi guys and a warm welcome to AJV. Our current location is Stockholm, the capital of Sweden and our match today comes from the Swedish first tier, the Allsvenskan. It's round 20, Djurgårdens EF against EF Elfsborg. Now if you look at the table, we see that it's been quite poor for the away side EF Elfsborg. They're only on the 10th place and Djurgården are on the 3rd place. They just qualified for the Conference League as well. So congratulations to them for this achievement. The previous meeting of these two teams finished nail-nail earlier this season. So obviously hoping for a better game this time. If you're interested in more details about these two clubs, I would recommend you two of my previous vlogs. Djurgården against Hammarby, first link in description and the second link EF Elfsborg against Aiko. You can find out more about the clubs playing today respectively. And also if you're interested in even more Swedish football content I would recommend you the Sweden playlist on the channel. Let's get over to Tele2 Arena where our match is going to take place. Here we are at Tele2 Arena, known as Stockholm's Arena, but uh, Tele2 is the sponsor. As you saw, it's uh, an architectural masterpiece, kind of, because it's a garage under it, a road as well, a restaurant, and it is also home to Hammar BEF, another uh, team in Stockholm, one of the three big teams also. So Jurgård and Hammar both playing here, whilst Aiko, which team I visited yesterday, uh, who played actually a derby against Hammar video in description, third link. Uh, they have Oiko have uh, a stadium in the north, which is also the national stadium. And before we go inside, an interesting thing about both the teams playing today: the away side, EF Elfsborg, have not won for quite long. Actually, their last ten competitive games, but uh, two Conference League qualifications are in it. So, if we look at the league, they won one out of their last ten games. They had seven draws, the last four games included, and two defeats. While Sir Gordon, today's home team, they had seven wins, two draws and only one defeat. Also the shape of the stadium is not a perfect rectangle because it had to be fit between two roads. So it's really interesting, it has a retractable roof, 30,000 capacity and not a natural grass but an artificial grass pitch. Here we are, let's go inside.
Stuart Smith after the big chance had it away. Magnus Eriksson with the cross. Jurgården in front after the header of number three Hjalmar Ekdal after the cross of their captain Magnus Eriksson. The header wasn't too strong but it was accurate so it was enough to be put past the keeper. 1-0 for Jurgården. Junior Jurgoran scorer Hampus Findel, 26 minutes, another header, but this time unreachable, just under the bar. Yeah, the team with the better form are dominating the game so far. Chance for Elsborn now in the breakaway. Four players against five in the back. Shot, Sata from saves. 38th minute chance to get a goal back for Elfsborg. And somehow it's not in. Interesting scenes, but it was outside already after the first header. Three minutes into additional time in the first half now. And this will be the end of it. No, not yet. Yes, it will. 2 0 lead for the home side, Jurgoran, at half time. The pitch of Elsborg is artificial, just like this one here in uh, Tel Aviv Arena. They are actually not a bad team, but uh, they are lacking confidence right now, of course, because of the recent results. And Jurgoran got a really massive confidence boost after they qualified to Europe again after two decades if I'm correct more than two decades and we, we saw that on the pitch you're going to confident on the ball they had two really great and accurate crosses from the left side and they scored from both those headers one set piece and one open play so two up at half time Hecken are leading the table for Svenskan but uh, probably you're going to will be the, the team which will be their contender so we'll see it'll be interesting the league as well and we hope the second half as well let's see about it Great 
he is there. Over the bar. 68th minute. Esbord so close to get a go back, but luck is not on their side today. The first minute good position from the free kick for Esbori. And a wonderful goal. Beautiful free kick to get Elfsborg back in the game. They have another approximately 10 minutes with additional time to get a point here away at Euroran. We'll see. Counter chance for Elfsborg. Many more Euroran players there, but can they get it out? They can, they can. Really great defensive work. 16,113 people in the stadium today. Last to play goal, and this could be the drama. Oh no, it's not too too cleared away. Even a keeper up for us, boy. Intense scenes here in the end. 95 minutes over in this second. And another S4 corner. No equalizer, no drama in the end. Another defeat for Elfsborg and another three points for Jurgården here at home.
It was remarkable how much confidence Elfsborg gained after they got that free kick goal, which got them to a one goal difference, back to one goal difference. But it wasn't enough for them. They had actually more shots, the same number of shots on target as your Gordon, if I'm correct, uh, namely five. But uh, your Gordon were more effective. They just used their chances in the first half. They weren't so good in the second, but uh, the first half performance, which was really good, I have to say, that uh, gave them the three points today. And that means that they are back on the second place, three points behind Hecken, one point above local rivals Hammarby. And Elsborg are staying on the 10th place. This is, of course, not their season. And this was it for today, guys. And this was it for me in Sweden, in Stockholm this time. Visited a second tier game and two first tier games, including a derby and including this game today, of course. I'll be back in my home city, Budapest, Hungary, and I'll actually visit the game on Wednesday evening, but I won't film there because I have to get some rest, but uh, I'll bring the Budapest Derby and away derby for my favorite team on screen. That will be on Sunday, so next vlog up probably on Monday as planned. That means the Budapest Derby with Pest against Ferenc Aros, and I'll be there, of course, in the away section to support the Green and Whites of Hungary, the record champions. But uh, back to Sweden, I might be back for Hamar Biergoran. Not 100%, but I'm planning on it, so yeah, we'll see. That'll be a surprise for you. Yeah, thank you very much for your attention. If it's your first time on the channel or you have not joined me on Instagram yet, uh, do so if you're up for more regular content. Also, there is a Twitter account you can follow if you want to be up to date. And other than that, thanks for your attention. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I was HFV. See you next time. Bye.